Attorney Isaac Buchanan says his client, incarcerated entertainer Vibes Cartel's heart functionality, has been reduced by at least 50% over the last year. Go watch the last video I drop on your favorite artist. I'm telling you, the angle of my coming. It is going to be healthy or I'm sick. You know, you understand me, sir, if you assist him, dog, to me, Mr. G. British. I'm not going to argue with a man that behind the scene where you can't know. You see me? The show I that to please bless it. Show I that I'm a skeptic to be at them places and I got jerky pull it. So a politics is beating cartel right now. And a full time we as Jamaica off with politics because politics been taking a toll on the we are promoting Jamaica, we're celebrating Jamaica. So why the cleaner things? Are the people at the Glen I think is me them talking? Why me? Why is me? I'm promoting Jamaica. I'm celebrating Jamaica. I'm, you know, it's sweet Jamaica for me. You want to see bad? You really want to see bad? You really want to see who is bad? It's just not even bad, but who is the real talent? But well, well, outside of that, still, we don't know if you're. If you want to, you know, be in a perspective for like the ongoing thing we are going on with each are still. And you said, truth be told, Rickstar, I don't look clear. No matter England, I don't know where they are in different time zones. Yeah, 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 I understand, man. The um, last thing I hear, I see pop up, I hear saying free, are you? In free? Viewer, subscriber, what go on? Big up on yourself, you know, people. You don't know how the thing go. Yeah, man. New subscribers, big up on yourself. You see it. The ones them where you have a long time maximum respect, you don't know how the thing go, as usual. You see what I say? Yeah, man. And as usual, people from when you see we pop up, you don't know what time it is, you know. So, we have several things to talk about. You know, mainly Vibes Cartel, third day here in, you know, in I'm ongoing case, people. We have a look into, like, a couple points that was made in court and so forth. And, you know... Just reason it out and see what is going on per se. You see it, people. So stay tuned for that. We also see where Mr. Vegas, you know, seemingly call out the glean of our playing politics people. We are gonna try to get the understanding of what is going on there and what cause all of that. We also see Minister Marian Hall, aka Lady Star, you know, I insinuate that she may have to step back in a dance hall and rub out some people who are torment her continuously. You see what I say, people? And we see where fans are speculate that she's talking about dance hall artist Spice. So we are going to look into that as well. We also see where a popular TikToker blast Serpy and had some stuff to say as it relates to Sean Storm and, you know, also the Adidas campaign in a Jamaica people. So stay tuned for all of that. We also see where, you know, another one is insinuating that. You know, politics is playing a part in holding Vibes Cartel in prison as well, people. And we also see where, you know, there's a video circulate with some jail conditions, you know, as in the media. So we are going to look into all of that. We find it very interesting as well, people. So stay tuned. Do the right thing. Subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. Let's get into it, my people. People, yeah, man, when it comes down to like the third day, hearing we definitely have a, little, a couple of stuff where we have to speak on as it relates to that you don't know say the walls basically are closing on this matter uh, um quick and fast people we see um with day three now that they have complete the defense argument as it relates to the whole thing you see when i say all of them submissions and all of them have to say would have been completed people now would have, have to wait upon what the prosecution is saying and a couple points was raised in the whole thing you see when i say a lot of things has been said in court but you don't know we basically never get it visit via live stream so we have to work with like what the newspapers them put out still people and we know common sense that tell we say them can't put out everything so them are going to put out like the main points, that's what I say people, and, you know, like some of the main points, they would have state that, you know, they, um, one of the lawyers, that is Mr. John Clark, would have basically impressed the judge with the publicity concerns in a, in closing argument, people, and we also see another argument where Mr. John Clark put forward where make the judge would have said them clearly a demand, an explanation from the prosecution as to why a retrial should occur, people. You see what I say, especially the fact that they must say, yo, multiple breaches of the appellant's constitutional rights did go on, people. So it's very interesting, people. According to 
the article was around the argument. They are saying that the Court of Appeal says the prosecution must explain why Vibes Cartel and his three co accusers should re be retried for the 2011 murder of Clive Williams when they have already suffered multiple constitutional breaches in the previous trial process. And, you know, Justice Marva MacDonald Bishop, who is leading the three judge panel people, um, that will decide whether or not the man, the men are to be retried. Yesterday raised the question after defense lawyer John Clark argued that the breaches of the men constitutional right and pending breaches are factors that should be taken into um, consideration in not ordering a retrial people. So at the end of the day, as me say people, it's very interesting. That's what I say. So we, we are going to see how the prosecution basically angle that line of argument people you see but that should be very interesting for see how that part the play out and how them actually argue around that people so that you know as me said that has some solid argument there so that's even the judge would have to tell them promptly say here we're going we want to hear some explanation as to that people and you know as it relates to the whole publicity part now people we that see where according to the observer they are saying that Defense lawyer John Clark on Wednesday told the Court of Appeal that none of the common law safeguards were deployed to ensure a new trial would not affect, be affected by publicity surrounding the question of the 2014 conviction by the Privy Council. And, you know, based on the argument, they are saying that describing his argument as a beautiful submission that is what the judge said, people. And, you know, actually asked him that you are saying that the court should have stepped in from day one and deployed its resources. And basically, you know, she has said, no, we are learning and so forth. So as I said, that is very interesting. And in terms of like the whole publicity thing, people, him basically, I say, well, you know, it basically got impossible for like him, like him can get a fear trial, a fear and unbiased trial with all our out there, see it, and you know, while they, they may look on it and say, well, you know, in terms of like traditional media and you know, me official official journalists and so forth, them can like put forward stuff where can prevent them from post certain things and say certain things that is not credible and so forth. But when it comes on to other news outlets, and you know, say have the rise of the blogger them and so forth, you know, a whole heap of things man put forward and you know. It, the, some of the time, them now who really hold no merit. That's what I say. And a man not really have put it forward now where we are. It's like a them opinion. That's what I say, people. A man roll it off as facts and you have like a huge following and so forth. And, and most times there is no proof the way I say. So, you know, a, a lot of them things that them say have to take into consideration. But anyway, people, as we say, we don't know how much weight that I go hold at the end of the court, people. So, make we see how that play out. But, make we move on to another thing that was said in court, people. We also have speeches from Mr. Isaac Buchanan, people. And he's basically, you know, stating that Vibes Cartel health and mental well-being and also financial status should be taken into consideration as to why a retrial should not occur, people. As well, I say, yeah, man, according to the newspapers, they are saying that Attorney Isaac Buchanan says his client incarcerated entertainer Vibes Cartel arts functionality has been reduced by at least 50% over the last year people and that has increased his chances of dead people and you know they are saying that Mr. Buchanan also says that the appellant court should consider the financial implication suffered by the entertainer vibes cartel while decided whether or not the court case should be set for a retrial you know he is saying that vibes cartel finances are among the key argument put forward at the retrial hearing at the court of appeal in kingston and wednesday people and you know addressing the three judge panel mr buchanan said that the entertainer has been paying legal and medical expenses since the initial trial which have impacted cartels accounts people and you don't know he also argued that the entertainer has 17 dependence people and he's also pointing out the latest addition which would be his fiance side them us Turk people and you know mr buchanan also said with medical and 
familial and legal expenses already impacting his client, it would not serve in the interest of justice to order a retrial people. You see what I say? Yeah, man. And you don't know how the thing go as it relates to all of that people. And as we say, you know, those are arguments that was presented and we don't know how much weight it ago actually will because you don't know say I go have the other side we are gonna present a uh, counteraction to all of that people as it and we don't know how well and how effective them are gonna can counteract it if they override it and make the judge look into the next direction people. So that is what we basically uh hold on upon. You see but we don't know what to think about um this 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 argument that was presented by Mr. Buckyanan still. Let me know in the comment section. And there was a one other key thing, people. You see what I say? Yeah, man. We see where, you know, even the likes of Kyra had some very interesting thing. Or the lawyers of Kyra. And, you know, we, we do see where... Yeah, this one, I'm not really sure about people. But according to a, another article, they are saying that poor health and lack of intimacy and financial problems as being cited by you know the, the the appellants people as reason for the court of appeal not to order a retrial you see it and they are saying that these arguments were advanced as the de de defense team closed the three day of submission against the possibility of a retrial and you know they are also stating that cartel attorney told the court that the artist would not be able to withstand a retrial with a weakening heart and worsening grave disease people. You see it and you know this part I boy is not really a laughing matter, but me have to just say yo judge and way rough. You know, so Kyra Jones people Affi David pointed out that he has become in depth to the tune of almost seventy million dollar arising from legal fees and appeal people, you know, and they are saying that while money is an issue people they are saying that that is not the only issue for mr jones you see it because you know he is saying that right now the ordeal of him in prison so long actually affect him sex life people basically they must say him not get no zoom zoom in our prison you see what i say yeah man and he's saying that the prime him life, life pass and him not start a family you know him not breed nothing yet and them thing there and you see, it's a learning process, people, because, you know, just we hear them type of thing, they're the ones, them are road, supposed to can look into it and say, boy, Jaja, no, this is no place to be, because, you know, this youth are going there as a young man, probably about 20 years, and, you know, him born off a particular amount of time, and re, 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 and all, now him not have a youth. You see what I say? So, at the end of the day, people, as I say, it's set away, and, but I see, like, ones and ones would argue, and I say, some of them are say yo, them think their submissions weak and them not talk about this and them not talk about that. But people have to remember that it's a hearing and them basically I give reasons why a retrial shouldn't occur. You see what I say? I don't think they would have reason on anything else except these points. You see, yeah, if it reached to a retrial, then they would have gone into the point of guilty and innocent and so forth but i don't think none of that is warranted at this moment people is it basically them would have point out issues and problems and so forth why um it not happen and at the end idea in terms of when we see presented it's in line with what i want still people but as me say you have the other side of the kind so it depends on where them are going to present they sure say yo these men should have a retrial regardless of them health and regardless of who not get no pum pum and them thing the people. You know, them still are gonna present that argument. So let's see how that play out and we definitely are gonna have the you know updates for the said speed. So leave one thoughts and comments because we have like a couple of other stuff to talk about said way. So check this out. And uh, you know the the issues that Mr. Kyra Jones would have point out people and say, yo, I'm not getting no pum pum and him who a bunch of money and them thing there as some of the issues in a jail people. We see a video circulate where we would show you some other issues where make you know and see say, you know, jail is definitely not a good place, people. And you don't know, you know, there's a slight difference between prison and jail and so forth. But at the end of the day, I see them confinement place them people. So figure out the technicalities and the bagger 
outside reasoning when I have nothing to do with what we are saying. And just look for what I go on here, so people. So, this video where we see a circle here, people, are just, we're not sure which jail it is, people, but it's definitely not a good look. From your see this, you see germs, people. From your see this, you see bad health. From your see this, you see everything that's bad. Frustration. You know, from your see this, you see say not even a day, you know, for this of our people. Check out that video here. The show that to be blessed. The show that I'm skeptic to be at them places and I got jerk to pull it. Jerk. 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 Look what you put the train while you're stupid. It's crawling. It's this crawling. Look. I've been years, them bike here, shit, for now. No, them not watching them. I tell you, no. See that? We have met light up this year and make smoke. We kill the scent. They made that. I know nothing good. Yeah, we'll be able to find that. And plus, the views, we put it right as well. For black. For black when I want to shit, you see it. I know nothing good. See water, the water take time around your fuel, see that? It's around you now, you know? The shower that took the place in, look. The shower that, I'm skeptic to be at them places and I got a germ to pull it. So yeah, my people, real nasty and grimy, you see what I mean? Yeah, man, and the man who show you say you have to be skilled and skeptic for what all I'll be at this, you see what I mean? Because once, your body touch pan now where you know say a ring room that for days. You know, all type of things that for days. You see what I mean? I say, hey, your clothes or your soap or anything drop that up. You just steal this and frazzle out and wrap now. They man say that them and the underpants you drop this so they for about 20 year people. So you know say it's definitely not a good look. But anyways, people. Yeah, outside of that, there were a couple other little things that was said in regards to the Vibes Cartel case. We see where a TikToker is insinuating that politics are play a part in the whole Vibes Cartel thing, people. So, this is his view. Tell me one thing. Yeah. Next thing I want to say. Cartel. I don't lie, bro. Means a Capricorn. I can relate enough of the things them where you go on with. You see me, cause I me, me understand as a Capricorn, cause we different, we are not tally. You see me, we have different principles, we have different rules and regulation. You understand? But what you going on now, sometimes I have to wonder if you have sense, dog. You understand? Because the things them where you do, the lawyer, where you, where you, where you, where you blood claw, um, aya, bro. The lawyer you look like him a look a clout, like him a look a boss. Yes, we may say, and I don't know why would you pick a lawyer that never yet win a case. A new lawyer, you're supposed to get somebody experienced. Yes, we may say, why want to, um, something of that, um, Omar Davis, uh, Philip Davis, uh, way more name, that big PMP polit um, politician lawyer there. Bro. Come like you know, click brother. Eh? Come like you know, click brother. The lawyer there for the on the back bench, and you put Tom Tafaris on the front bench. You understand? But here we go on. I know how I fight you. What I beat you right now is the mere fact that you use a PMP and you cannot get released under labor right. Governant, you understand? Bro, God, now nah, let you go. Because if Bro, God, let you go right now, he's in trouble for the next election. Any old blood club, Bro, God, let you out right now. He's in trouble for the next election because you're a big influence and impact and PMP. You understand? If you come out tomorrow, you understand the whole crowd, the whole Jamaican world vote for PMP. Bro, God, now have no chance. So you see, if election did pass, and bro, God, have a next four year, maybe he may give you a chance. Because that's say, oh, I'm done with the election already. You see me? I say, yo, let him out. But brother, with election coming around the corner, no dog. Worse, the local was so close. 
him can't afford to let out a big PMP influencer on the streets. You crazy? No, dog. He can't afford that. So, a politics is beating cartel right now. And a full time, we as Jamaica, fuck off with politics because politics been taking a toll on our life from a little till we turn man and woman. Full time, we're done with politics because them use we and abuse we. No joke. But Vibes Cartel, big up yourself, member your Capricorn. Real Capricorn, Naptali, you understand? Go on, hold it, my father. But politics are beat you, bro. You understand? And your PMP, and you can't get released underneath labor right government. And I just that a beat you, my bro. Sorry about that, father. You see me? No joke. Big fat man thing. Andrew have the last talk by your case, brother. If Andrew say, yo, free you tomorrow. Him free yo. You see where they use it in a, in a, in a parliament. How oh, this one DJ once said, Unstoppable. Unstoppable. And him use you with every other else thing, but by the end of the day, him now use you in a the society because him know you're too influential and society. If you come out tomorrow and you say, yo, PMP, the world, and let you come out and say, you're labor right. And the whole place of the vote for labor, right? Maybe if you do that, then the dog might say, all right then, do the road. You understand? No joke. But tell me what you think, people. So what do you think about what the general is saying, people? Do you think that there is no um, truth to his argument as it relates to vibes cartel, political affiliation and empower to sway the people to this side or that side or what side or what side, people? Uh, but at the end of the day, people, you know, there was a time when I think um, PNP was in power and Vibes Cartel was incarcerated at that time still, people. So, I don't really know or I'm not really sure, but it's up to the people and I'm alone there. You know, it's up to the ones them if they tell me what they think as it relates to that. And another thing where we see people, that's where Mr. G British basically as Peak and Sean Storm and actually I show some flame at Sir P. I say, you know, him can't see Sir P. face, so him can't take him serious. And a bunch of other things, people. That's what I say. So we are going to take a quick listen at what Mr. G British is saying and forward back. So check this out. Know the pain we and Storm. We know the pain we are going through now. We know it's a freedom. And remember, say, Sir P. no like enough for true you know. You understand me? Sir P. assist him, dog, to me, Mr. G British. I don't to argue with a man there behind the scene where you can't know. You see me? It's like how me come out when we are come some people and I say, Yo, I don't have a system dog without no apology. Sir P, uh, in the spot news media, can't come out and show them face. You see me? Because remember, you know, I set them set up get a youth life, you know. Look for what you are, Sir P, do. Try to set up bright light life, you see me? And I talk a bag of things and then now, I need a member now, I go beg for mercy from that man. We can't see the system. The light voice cartel, no Sean Storm, no Ninja man. You see me? No, I'm a father. But the ending of the day, you know, you know, if you know you know, you know, you know, a member say, you know, you know, you know, you do no crime, you know, so you can't plead to Sir P. But nothing no busy with Sir P. You want to say, can member, you know. Controversy around the media, bad publicity, or good publicity, even if they're behind the bars, they won't come a road, you know. That is a freedom without no apology, because remember, you know, the, the king say, you know, if you squash that case, you know, and them still a run with it, you know. Because they show them here about the suit, them and want to hold them behind bars, but remember, you know, if they don't have a proof, you know, how they really a charge somebody without no proof. Alright, we forget about Chance Storm thing now. Adidas. Look for the brother. Where they are Adidas, the Jamaica whatsoever. I that then gone to now. I hug up one and then I have roses like they just married. I don't understand that. And then they won't come in with one another law in Jamaica now about discriminating law. 
I'm telling us the heads of government in a fully reverse and bro God use wise cartel slang what day when him a run for local election because he know he not like the man and I use the man's style and I put the man free bro God boy I can't believe every day when I believe say GLP are going to do something good then do something in a fully reverse every day me wonder if out of road have to come strike what day what kind of thing that if out of road have to strike trust me country are got to eat dogs without no apology people that is Mr. G British with no apology you know yes, so I, say, I don't know what to think about his arguments people but that is Mr. G British with no apology and the next thing where we see people where we have his people and we see that Sting are circulate with Mr. Vega. So yesterday we see an article came out in the Gleena. Well, me, me never really see it when the same time, people. But me see a, a, a screenshot of it, a circulate. Um, and when we go to check it out, it seems as if the Gleena um, deleted it or something because me don't really see it anywhere. But me actually see like a, a thing there. And they are saying that, you know, the Jamaican embassy in a Washington or somewhere about here chides Mr. Vegas and actually you know, basically I make them know, say, because there is supposed to be like some gathering in that vicinity, people, and basically, oh, the Gleena frame it, frame it, them would make it seems like the Jamaica embassy basically would have style Mr. Vegas them or something like that. You see what I say? But when I really look upon the whole overall thing, I get to understand that the day when that event would have gone, the embassy would have closed. So the embassy wouldn't really have nothing to do with that still people. However, I would have see where like Mr. Vegas would have said it seems as if the Gleena have some form of political agenda because he not really understand why him picture has been used and why the argument is being framed as if you know him and the embassy had some form of running or act or if him had do something wrong or something. Yes, he, he, he is basically saying that whatever they might promote is basically like the greatness and the goodness of jamaica not for try if he make the thing look destructive or nothing like that so henceforth him couldn't in enough form of tanglings with the jamaican embassy make we take a listen at what mr vegas is saying people so we can get like a clearer understanding check this out this out what is the jamaica greener motive why they keep running this story on all their social media platform platforms that um, the Jamaica Embassy chides Mr. Vegas. What is the motive behind that? They posted a story this morning, right? They ran the story this morning um, saying that the Jamaica Embassy basically rebuked, you know, me from using the name brand jamaica see let me get this clear going to washington dc to promote jamaica um is an independent gesture it has nothing to do with the jamaican embassy we are meeting yeah at that location the embassy will be closed on that day so the the people, and I think I know where it's coming from, that are writing to the embassy and calling the embassy to get information if they're in association with Mr. Vegas and, you know, whosoever else. We are not. The, the Jamaica embassy has nothing to do with this. Yeah? We are coming to Washington, D.C. to stand up for Jamaica to promote our beautiful country. We are aware that people will be out there trying to tear Jamaica down, trying to disgrace the country, and we are coming here to celebrate Jamaica. That is it. So everybody bring your flag, bring your rag and come. Whether you are GLP, PMP, whether you are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, R, S, T, whatever you are, forward and come celebrate Jamaica with we. Yes, what I say? So, the glean, I mean, you know, what is the gleaner's motive? Why they keep running the story even after the Jamaica embassy, Jamaican embassy, put forward a statement that 
their posts had nothing to do with me. They actually encouraged people to promote Jamaica, to celebrate Jamaica, to celebrate brand Jamaica, promote brand Jamaica. You understand what I'm So, the gleaner maybe have some explaining to do. Why you keep running this story? You run it twice in the 24 hours period. Trying to um, put a bad twist to what we are going out there to do. Is it? And it is very unfortunate that you're doing that. It's very unfortunate. The truth is there. And I know you must have seen the same way you saw that the, the Jamaica Embassy, Jamaican Embassy, put forward um, a message about people using the brand, you know, in a negative way. I know you saw that. We're not using the brand in a negative way. We're not talking about brand Jamaica in a negative light. So it could not have been me that they were speaking about because we are promoting Jamaica, we are celebrating Jamaica. So why the Gleaner thinks, or the people at the Gleaner think, is me them talking. Why me? Why is me? I'm promoting Jamaica, I'm celebrating Jamaica, I'm, you know, it's sweet Jamaica for me. So why me? Why my picture? Look, up, look at the other people them that are going out there. Talking all these nonsense about Jamaica. Trying to disgrace the country. And you're not putting up their pictures. Why me? Hmm? Come on, Lena, you can do better than that. So here we go on, people. We're going out to Washington, D.C. We're meeting at the Jamaican Embassy. And we'll take it from there. Bring your flag, bring your rag, and forward. If you don't have a flag, maybe give you one. Because we have no flag. You see him? Yeah, man. Come on, I come sing and dance with me. You see? Yeah, man. And the people who are frightened, you know, say we don't need a permit or we're not going to get in a problem. Nothing no go so. We're not going to be obstructing any traffic or pedestrian. So don't worry about it. Just forward, man. Come enjoy the day. It's a Saturday. Nice and easy. Meet us 8 a.m. at the Jamaican Embassy. See? Boom. Yeah, my people. Yeah, man. So, I guess Mr. Vegas are uh, in, say, you know, like a political thing are going on there with the Gleaner. You see what I say? Yeah, man. <laughs> Boy, I don't know people. The like, politics thing serious in a Jamaica. You know, I don't know if, you know, Mr. Vegas would have, like, say a couple of stuff as it relates to the PNP, JLP thing and we're in and give him opinion here and there or, you know, point him allegiance here or there, people. You know, that would have be like problems to hear or there or support people. I don't really know. But basically that is what he's been he's saying people. And as me say, it kinda weird for the Gleaner put out an article and then like delete it still. So you know say some little turn off basically go on this of people. But anyways, leave on the thoughts and tell more anything. And just to finalize the whole thing people, we see where Minister Marian all a rat on the internet. So I say and basically with a hint that you know she, it look like to how them a troll her and a follow her up. She is saying that she basically leave dance hall for ones and ones. And you know, it's like she go over church and people still a follow her up and a hell bent for destroy her and make her um, life uncomfortable people. And you know, we have the good minister almost close to tears. Basically, I say it look like say based on how the people them a follow her up. She have to go take drastic action and make a step over and the dance hall and rub out some people if I that them want or that them a search for. She is saying that she don't have a problem for deal with it that way they so if them continue to follow her up that is what going to go on people so we could take a listen at what Minister Marian Hall aka Lady Star is saying people and circle back if I preach you attack me what, what sense does it make preaching preaching and only for you to attack me eh? and do all kind of evil against me. It's best I'm out there with you and you do the evil to me and I deal with you out there. You attack me out there and I will just deal with it. What about, how about that? I come, come out of here, get out of Christianity, yeah? And you attack me out there, how about that? Face to face then. Hmm? 
I'm sick of people messing with me. Sick of you lying about me. Sick about you just attacking you evil people. And there's one person that, that set up a lot of people against me. And you better pray. Because I'm coming out. I'm going to take you out. Yeah? Because you the one who set up a whole lot of people. You're wicked. You're bad mind. You're grudgeful. You're jealous. And you started this. You started all of this. Yeah? Yeah? So, oh, other than family, you set up. Oh, I was loved by everybody. And you go out and you put up a lot of false things and you go on the internet and you put up a lot of lies about me and you set up people against me. And all I did was give you my hope and arms, outstretched hands. And I honestly let you in my life and you destroy so much. And even when I got into Christendom, you compete with me. If I say I'm preaching today, all of a sudden, the same day, same time, you say you have church. And you and your friends them send it over to my phone. You understand? As, as if, I tell you, if I'm coming out with a song, you come out with something to, to bar people from paying attention to what I'm doing. And then you make up all kind of lies. Even in Christendom, I leave everything and, and I come over here and you attack me silently. You don't even know I know people who are with you right there on the ground when you're doing your evil with all them fake phones. And you don't even know they're there and they say, that person is coming online now. She's talking a lot of stuff right here. She's coming on. She's going to build. Yeah. And you never leave me alone because you're so happy. You just tell us you want me to be shut down in a corner. I'm over it. I'm over it. You want to see bad? You really want to see bad? You really want to see who is bad? It's just not even bad, but who is the real talent? Okay, let me just step off out there and handle everything out there then. You want that? Because you won't leave me alone. Yeah, you won't leave me alone. You understand? Yeah? They're still there. Charmaine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Mich yeah, your fake name right here. You see how you are? And you are the people I'm talking about. You, yeah? You're the people I'm talking about. So yeah, my people, what do you think about what Minister Marian Hall is saying? Do you think that Minister Marian Hall, you know, the, 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 there are people who actually are stuck or up on that level? Eh? Or do you think that, you know, she would have want a way to touch back in a dance hall, but want a scapegoat and uh, frame an argument as if this artist or that artist are it? Because, you know, based on the entrance where she said she would have take back, you know, say that would have been very interesting. That's the way I say people because you don't know she are officially the crowning queen and right now since she step where we have another queen that is reigning currently people. So and at the end of the day, as me said, that would have been very serious people. That's the way I say you don't know say a lady star in a dance hall is not a joke thing. You see it, and when I even listen to Mama outside that thing, there she's still powerful and still got it. But you don't know she had tried the Christian road. Me personally, at this moment, and how far me see she reach reaching her Christian business still, I wouldn't really encourage, like, you know, if she if turn back at this moment. That's what I say, people. Yeah, man, there are multiple times when me see the opportunity arise and she never really take it. So, you know, I think she reached far enough where I think she was sickly in her whole thing. But I don't really speak for um, Minister Mariana and her decision, you know, because at the end of the day, it's an adult still people. You know what I say? So she can make her own decision upon her own. But based on the argument, you want to see, she put forward, though. What do you think? <laughs> Leave on the thoughts and tell me what you think about the whole thing, you see? It? And you don't know the thing, go big up on yourself, respect and manners. You see, it? we're catching up on another one. Give thanks to the support. I'm out.